Hey artists, Mrs. Vaughn here. Another week, another fun project. I am super excited to share this one. This one is about an artist who lives right in our area. Uh, while I was researching him, I went online to his website and sent a little email saying, hey, I work with kiddos. If you have any wise words, uh, share them with me. So the next day I got an email saying, call me. So we had a really lovely conversation about why he makes art, what inspires him, the materials he uses. He's really um, passionate about the environment. And you'll learn all of the things we talked about, but I wanna share one little nugget. And that is, he said every time he goes to the beach, he picks up some trash. And I thought, we all should be doing that. He's a surfer, he's there every day. I don't go every day. But I think when I go to the beach, that's something I should do because I'm helping keep a place I love really clean. Anyway, enjoy learning about Rodney, and we will see you soon. Rodney Rodrigo McCubrey was born on February 7, 1954 in the town of Whittier, which is in Southern California. He currently lives in Lucadia, a part of Encinitas, and has been a surfer for more than 40 years. He was kind enough to spend some time with me talking about his art and his life. I will share what I've learned while you enjoy the art he's made through the years. What inspired you to become an artist? I have always felt the need to be created. I started out as a potter and did that for 10 years. Have you had other jobs? Yes, I'm a massage therapist, but not right now during the pandemic. I have always worked for myself so I could travel the world and surf. What do you do in your free time? I do what I do every day. I make art. Also, I'm spending a lot of time in my garden right now. I wish I could surf, but I haven't been able to do that for a month already. How did you get into recycled arts? I lived in Baja for about 10 years. I built an adobe home down there. It seemed like so much stuff got thrown out. People would bury cans in the dirt and the beautiful beaches were covered in trash. It was everywhere. I decided I wanted to use their trash and it was free. He gathers materials out of dumpsters next to the roadside, vacant lots, and in his favorite place, the dump sites in Baja, California. The materials I incorporate are primarily re recycled and found objects. He is known as an environmental folk artist. Do you buy any supplies to help make your art? He told me, I only buy screws and paint usually. How do you find people who appreciate your art? He said, believe in your work, put it out there, be available, and you never know what will happen. He focuses on making masks, hearts, altars, and fun fish, but he says the direction of his work depends on his inspiration, which is ever-changing and constantly evolving. The materials he uses inspire him. The nature of my work is fun. He has work in several art galleries, libraries, and in private collections. I want to teach people that they don't need to buy a lot of things. They need to learn where to find things and how to recycle them. He lives by what he preaches. The floor in his main gallery is made with leftover granite pieces usually on the kitchen, usually used on kitchen counters. The upholstery in his vintage auto interior roof is reupholstered with swatches of cloth sewn together. Take a moment and study this final fish. What do you see that might be recycled? See the arms of sunglasses on the right, which make up the tail? He has eyeglasses, lady sandals, part of a wetsuit, and many caps. There might even be a fishing lure sticking out of the mouth of that fish. Did you notice the body of the fish? It's made of a broken surfboard. This fish is part of a bigger project Rodrigo took on with the Surfrider Foundation. The Surfrider Foundation is set up to help protect our beaches. Four times a year, they do a trash pickup. They contacted, contacted Rodrigo to make some art. He let them know he would be happy to help, but it had to be 
the trash that they collected. This project was called Positivity and has been on display in Seaport Village in San Diego, hoping to inspire people to think before they buy and to clean up after themselves. I hope you will enjoy this project based on the wonderful work of Rodrigo Macubre. The goal is to get creative with what you already have at home. With permission from your parents, check out Bonjour from Rodrigo's Recycled Art in California to the Tahitian children on YouTube. You will get a tour of many, many more works of art and his art studio at home. All right, so I've gathered my supplies. I have a heavy cardboard box. I have a lighter weight cardboard box because they're easier to cut. I found a gift bag with this pretty blue I thought could make kind of an interesting fish and I like these stripes. Got a couple different colors of paper that look fish-like to me. I found some pipe cleaners used from a different project. I ran around the house looking for circular things. I've got lids, from bottles, I've got washers. And the last thing I did is I picked up some clothespins. I don't know if I'll use them, but they look like they could be interesting in this project. Time to find some fun music and start making a fish. Let's look at some samples. This artist used a plastic cup cut up for the fins and the tail, some beans, some peas, and some beads. I believe I see a life cereal box in the middle of this shark. And he has a bell for a nose. This artist also flipped over his shark and decorated the backside in case you want to hang it somewhere. It looks beautiful from both directions. This next one's a little bit difficult. This artist cut up a box. You can tell by the fin it's an Amazon box, which is a very difficult material to cut and taped on every single scale. So when you hold up this fish, actually it moves. It's kind of cool. I see a coffee filter, some newspaper, and a Gatorade lid on this next one. And these white snowflakes are actually decorations you can tie on your box at Christmas time. 
Honestly, here's the fish I made today, but show me what you can do with your supplies. And please, let's be responsible and clean up our mess when we're done today. I know your family would appreciate it. All right, artists, you're going to use what you have at home. You might need to do a search and see what's available and get permission from your parents to use objects found around the house. Here's a list of ideas. Pause your video and get ready to make a fish. If you enjoyed what we did here today at Art Playground, please hit the red button to subscribe to our channel.